No, get out. Oh, you, you're dead. What's up everybody, it's Monkey Farm. We are here in the base and it might look a little different to you. I've decreased the field of view or the distance, what do you call it? The render distance to normal. Uh, just to give it a little vibe, kind of looks like it's foggy in the base. Um, I don't know, just just kind of giving it a new scenery, you know. Um, been playing on this uh, map since I, well, I don't know. This is the 74th video I think I've done in this map. So man, that's a lot. And uh, obviously we've gotten a lot of work done, but. Uh, so I was going to hop on the Hermitcraft server and do a little video there. Uh, I do need to get some building done, but uh, I had a subscriber uh, message me and say, dude, try this, try a fix for your chicken farm. Uh, as you know, uh, a lot of you guys that have kind of built a similar chicken farm to this, um, where we have the actual chicken coop Kind of off-site so we don't have to listen to the noisy chickens as you can see what happens is a lot of the chickens die because they get stuck on the stairs and uh, eventually they drown so the water they basically they recently changed the chickens to fight the water current and then somehow that causes them to uh, to stop on the stairs instead of float in the water so I need to figure out a way to do I have my silk touch no I guess have to waste a piece of glass but anyway uh, let's see what's been happening is the chickens have been dying and a lot of people who have built this um, have been saying you know uh, that all of their chickens are pretty close to all of their chickens have been dying uh, I seem to have kind of a 50 50 rate um, anyway, the subscriber's name was uh, Scorpion Thrax, and he gave me a really good idea, and it sounded like it made sense to me, and uh, I wish I would have thought of it myself. So he said, replace the stairs with a solid block, and then underneath where the sign is, which would be, I guess, two blocks below the sign, put a fence post. And apparently, since a fence post is like one and a half blocks tall, or one and you know it's it's taller than one block um, what this should do is push the chickens up and as you can see I am letting the water current push me and I think this is gonna work because okay I'm not going to I'm gonna let go of everything on my keyboard and just let the water current push me and this is what happens so I bump up on the fence post then bump up onto the block so if the chickens will do that, I think we will be in business. So I'm going to build a couple of these and then try it out. And if this works, big shout out to Scorpion Thrax for the great idea. Um, and if it doesn't work, you'll never see this video. So it doesn't matter what I say right now. <laughs> All right. So there's another one. Just going to build a handful of these. And... Uh, Man, I really hope this works because a lot of you guys uh, built a similar chicken coop to this and uh, I think it would be great to have a fix to this problem that we were all having of having our chickens die. Alright, I'm going to uh, finish uh, wrapping this up. I'm going to build this all the way up and then um, and then we'll, we'll hatch some chickens in there and see if it works. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt. Um, you know, I probably should test it now before I waste all the time building it, but it's not going to be any worse than having half the chickens die, right? So anyway, I'll be back in a sec. All right, so first of all, uh, what I want to do is uh, call all the chickens out here so that we know when we hatch some chickens. Uh-oh. Uh, I guess. Guess I'll do that. Um, so I want to make sure I have no chickens up there, and see what happens. All right. There's one. There's two. There's three, four, five, six. Come on. 
chicken. <clears throat> Okay, that's nine chickens. I'm assuming that is all of them. <clears throat> I didn't, uh, oh, nope, we have some that, man, they really do fight the current, don't they? So I hope that's all of them. There we go. All right, we'll assume that that's all of them and let's cook them up real quick. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's shut this thing off and get some more chicken up there or chickens. Um, there we go. Finally getting some hatching chickens. There we go. Keep going. Yes. So far so good. So far, so good. That's five. Six, seven, eight. All right, I'm going to shut it off. And so we should have eight chickens up at the top. When we go up there to check it out, it looks like they're all making it. I don't see them really getting stuck. Uh, actually, you know what? They may be getting stuck right there at the corner. Nope, they make it up eventually uh, because I have, I have a water block starting at the corner. What I should do is wrap the water around the corner. That way uh, it, it won't have pressure pushing them back. Uh, I don't know if that made sense or not, but anyway, uh, we're going to go up to the chicken coop real quick and check it out, and we should have, what was it, eight chickens up there. So wow, this uh, the sunset looks a lot different with the normal distance rendering on, because it's a little foggy looking. Pretty cool. I might leave it on normal for a while, just to give it a little different look. All right, let's see how many little baby chickens we have up here. Oh, they're just making it up now. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did we lose one? I think we may have lost one, unless I don't know how to count. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops, oh, I guess, I guess we can check now. Okay, slight delay. Let's go down here and see if, oh, he's still alive. It's just he's stuck. Okay, so yeah, I was right about, see the water block where he's, he's having trouble hopping up, but at least he's not drowning. So that's a good thing. We know um, at least we're not losing our chickens to death, anything like that. Okay, so I'm gonna hop back in there real quick and see. I guess I'm going to have to go the other way. All right. So I'm going to have to fix that water. I hear chickens everywhere. I've lost a few chickens, so we should have a few floating around somewhere. Where is that coming from? Ah, he's up here. Enchanted chicken. All right. Let's see. We need to hop back in there. Okay, so this is the problem area right here. What I can do, I think I could probably, yeah. Um, so this is what happens. Uh, pushes me up here and then I get kind of stuck. The water current is pushing me that way, but this block is in the way. So basically I think the chicken is hopping right here. So what I'm gonna do is take this water and put it, I need to make a sign. Uh, okay, what I can do is move this back a little bit, move the, uh, <clears throat> move this stair back, so what I'll do is have it go up right here, let's see, we'll try this again, put that 
there. And put a couple blocks here. That way we'll get pushed up here. We'll put our sign right there. Now we'll put our water here and let it wash around the corner. That way they won't get stuck on the corner, right? I think that'll work. Let's try this. <clears throat> oh, okay, finally. All right, so we get bumped up here. Chicken gets pushed around the corner. That will definitely work. Awesome. And there's our little buddy waiting patiently for us. Got a little redstone under there. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. Oh no, I'm going to have the redstone problem again. I ruined all my redstone. Uh, how am I going to fix this? Oh, I can pick up the water. That might be a good idea. And... Let's see. If I put blocks back here... Uh, wait. Put it right here, and that should work, right? If I just put a water block, move it back one, and then I need to get rid of that, right? So I need to move this back, put a sign here instead. Put that there and then pick up this water and move it back one that'll push me around the corner perfect all right and we have a squid <laughs> all right okay i'm gonna head back down the other way even though i'm it's probably easier just to hop out there yeah let's just hop out here uh-oh i hear a zombie i'm scared i'm scared don't kill me oh We're all gonna die! Where's all my cooked chicken? Man, I just cooked all that chicken and now I'm not even gonna eat it. Anyway, okay, so we should have eight chickens here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So we have a hundred percent flawless uh, chicken transport canal, water channel thingy majiggy. Thank you very much. I'll take that. All right, I'm just gonna seal up the chicken farm. Oh, I need to break that one block. Let's see. Seal that up. Oh, uh, break another glass, of course, and break that one. And we are good. Did I ruin anything? Nope. We're all good. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Now we're all good. So this chicken farm is 100% effective now. We're not going to have any loss due to drowning or anything like that. Let's test a couple of chickens uh, just to make sure they do make it around the corner. So there's two. Let's do one more. There's three. Okay, so when we get back there, we should have 11 chickens. I can't tell. But let's get back out there and check it. And... Uh, We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully they all make it because I'm going to assume this is 100% effective now with no loss. Okay, so we have one chicken making it through, two chickens, and I don't know if another one already made it through or not. So. just have to see. Let's count these things and maybe it already made it through. So we have one in the corner, 
two, three. Uh, I'm never going to be able to count with all these hopping. How about I go like this? Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, Yeah, we have 11, so they all made it. Awesome. All right, well, uh, I would call that progress. <laughs> we are kicking butt now. This chicken farm is awesome. Um, I will put a link to the original tutorial and then a link to the new chicken cooker, which was actually two videos. Uh, the first video, I ended it without having a fix and then quickly the next video all I had to do is put a couple uh, slabs down there so the lava blade would not kill the chickens and kill their or burn their drops as well so uh, I'll put a link to all those so you can see what this whole system is all about and how to build it um, but yeah it's 100% effective now so I am stoked Thank you once again, Scorpion Thrax. It was an awesome idea and it totally worked. So that kicks some major butt. We've got a sweet chicken farm now. Awesome. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.